Gentlemen, Zyla's crazy back with yet another multiverses video. And uh I'm trying to space these out enough we have time to process each video without bombarding you with too many videos in a row. I know Wednesday is gonna be quite a bit new videos, I know. It's heavily requested um for a whole bunch of characters. If you guys do feel like you want your character uh Reviewed and you know, tell what perk slot or perks are good and signatures are good for that character. Let me know down in the comments, right? But today was, uh, I believe we were told we were asked if uh, we could do Batman for some. I don't remember the exact comment, but uh, this one's uh, this one's for you and anyone else that uses Batman. So let's get into it. Batman, great character, all right. Still a stud from the uh, original game. All right, he's not really falling off at all. But hey, let's get into these perks, all right? Got the standard, well-rounded, five percent damage boost to damage dealt and defense. All right, you got precision grapple. Batman's grappling hook reels him in faster and emits a powerful blast when Batman arrives at his destination. However, Batman deals no damage or knockback while the grappling hook is something i think in root help huh. well the grappling hook reels him in or we have bouncer ring hitting an enemy with a banner ring while it is returning to that will apply three stacks a weekend that's not bad that is not bad at all now, i don't think you can go really wrong with either of these i think i think it's really up to these two before you go down to well rounded. Hitting enemy with a battering while it's returning to Batman will apply three stacks a weakened. Or you get a little powerful blast when Batman arrives at his destination. I think the final uh, synopsis or consensus is going to be the bouncer ring. You know, having that three steps a weekend lowers the damage your opponent can do to you. I mean, you can't beat that. I just realized, is that animated Joker on the, uh, the, the bat screen? I, th I think it is. Huh, just look at that. Alright, let's get into the first perk slot here. We got, we got Purest of Motivations. That's Flammable Doc. The Sturdy Dodger. Stronger Than Ever. Oh. Snowball Effect. Protective Momentum. Or, Press the Advantage. Not bad. Not bad. I do think there's one that sticks out. And that's going to be... That's Flammable Doc. Your, team's, can, your team can melee an enemy after hitting them with a projectile to ignite them. Now, I see this as a pretty good one because you pair it with the signature ability. You're already dealing three stacks of weakened if you can hit them on the way back to the Batarang. But if you hit them while you throw the Batarang and the Batarang is still yet to come back... And you can hit them before or after the battery comes back. You're gonna deal ignition or okay, ignite damage, right? Just ignite damage, and then you're gonna stack on three stacks of weak weakness onto them. That's not bad at all. That's great. You already limited the power. You're gonna be popping up their damage, lowering the damage they can do. I mean, can't beat that, am I right? Let's get into slot two for the perks. You got speed force assist, troll tactics, last stand, collateral damage, air walker, too fast to block. Air walker is, is interesting. We're not picking it though. Too fast to block. Not terrible. Collateral damage, like I said, really relies on what you know what map you're playing on. He doesn't really have too many collateral ones, or not collateral, um, knockbacking abilities when you knock someone into a terrain, for example. Last stand, I think Batman's shifty enough, got enough stuff to really not have to deal with 100 damage unless, you know, he already knocked out his opponent and he comes back in and maybe just put over the 100 or something like that, but... I do think we end up back on speed force assist. You receive 5% increased base movement speed. Now, this is good. This is good. Now, 
not playing on the back cave here, but Batman has a smoke bomb. You know, you're gonna be wanting to run quick through that, running quick on the ground. You have a grappler hook for momentum. You also can glide through the air. It's just a good all way around movement and kind of like momentum base keeping for that Batman. All right. Now for the the third perk slot, we have Pugilist, Static Electricity, Second Wind Beneath Your Wings, Clear the Air, Armor Killer, and Armor Crush. Now, Armor Crush is an interesting one here, because you can charge up the, the Batarang, and that might be ideal. I mean, if you if you think about it, right, you're pairing that armor crush with that's flammable dock and the bouncer ring. The only problem is you're putting a lot of faith into if you're really good with the battering. Now I'm not saying all oh, you guys suck with it. All I'm saying is if you are good with the battering and you know like how to how to throw it perfectly where it hits every time I'd say go armor crush. All right, using the battering to its fullest potential is going to be just so key that you're just not going to be able to get stopped. For people out there that you know can use it but don't solely rely on it, I'd say go. Uh, why am I on that one? Puglist. Your melee damage attacks deal increased damage. It's just a standard thing, you know. Get that increased damage for Batman. Straight up, you know, fucking haymakers. And, um, yeah, just, uh, like I say, if you don't solely rely on the battering, go Puglist. If you, not solely rely on the battering, but, like, can use it to its, you know, 100% efficiency, go the armor, or not the armor, armor crush. Alright? For right now, I'm not a pro with the battering. I'm not a dog with it. I'm gonna go Puglist. I think it is the ideal set there. So our final perk slots here, we have that signature bouncer ring. Perk slot 1, that's flammable dock. Perk slot 2, speed force assist. And perk slot 3, puglist. It's not bad abilities. I do think, you know, obviously like I said every video, we're given a reduced amount of perks that obviously, you know, a lot of people aren't uh, acclimated with. Yeah, we're all acclimated with these 70, 60 perks. So we gotta, you know, get acclimated to these six perks per slot now. They're all different. So it's only up to 18 different variations. It's crazy. But I think this is the ideal loadout for Batman. If you guys do run Batman down, you know, down in the comments below, uh, let me know what you run. Let me know if you tried this out. Let me know how, if it works for you. And if you guys would like me to do any other videos on any other characters, let me know down in the comments below, and I will get to those as soon as possible. Because every character will be done. It's just a matter of what order those characters are done in. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Yeah. If you guys have any criticism on what perks to run, let me know down at the bottom if you have a perk slot that perk slot up that is better than mine. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.